Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me, so let's get started. First off, I am blowing my slightly damp hair dry. I first start by blowing it to one side and then in the middle to add volume. And blowing it up, I find, helps add quite a bit of volume and then I don't have to use as much hair product, which I hate having in my hair so I always blow dry my hair up. Then adding a little bit of macadamia oil treatment into my hair. This just helps add a little bit of shine, tame down any little flyaways, and makes my hair silky smooth. And did I mention that it smells absolutely delicious? Next, I am curling just the front sections of my hair and not holding it for long at all. All I'm trying to do is make it curl back a little bit so that it won't fall down during the day. And next, I am putting in just a tiny little bit of my Hans de Fuco sponge wax. This stuff is amazeballs. I got a sample of it in a birch box, and I am definitely going to buy the full size when I run out of it. Next, as I'm sure you would have guessed, I am adding my moisturizer and primer onto my face, and I'm using the DDF Ultralight Moisturizing Dew and the Smashbox More Than Primer Blemish Control Primer. I hate saying that. Next, I'm using a product that you guys may have not seen me use before. It is my Eclipse Concealing Palette from Coastal Scents. I am taking the green concealer first and placing that on my, on my irritated blemishes. This will help calm down the redness, and then going over that with a more flesh-toned concealer that will match my foundation. The foundation I'm using today is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 210. It's a sandy beige color that's a little bit yellow toned. I'm trying to match my neck and I'm a little bit tanner on my neck than I am on my face right now because I've been exfoliating so much. So if it doesn't look like it matches on camera, don't worry, it does in person. I'm just using patting and buffing motions. I am not rubbing that all over my face because I don't want to disturb any of the concealer that I put on earlier. Next, I am using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealing Highlighting Pen under my eye area. This will just add a little bit of illumination, get rid of any redness that I have. I don't really get bad dark circles, but I do get a little red under the eyes in the mornings after sleeping. <laughs> so again, just patting that in under the eye, not really sweeping too hard or like really rubbing the product in. I'm more of just brushing it across the face evenly and gently. And now I'm putting that on my forehead and on my chin area. There I'm not using a brush because I'm just going to use my fingers because I want the product to warm up a little bit more. Under the eye area I tend to use a brush just to be a little bit more precise. Now I'm using the Chanel Poudre Universe Libre in the color Door Translucent 3 and I am patting that into the skin with my Sephora IT Studio brush and I am not sweeping that all over my face, I never do. I always pat my product, my powder products into my skin because I want the most matte coverage that I can have because I do have oily skin. And I also find that it helps to not disturb any of the highlighting that we did earlier. Next I'm taking NARS Laguna, my favorite contouring bronzer, and I am placing that on the perimeter of my face at my forehead on my jawline and on the other side as well. I'm using a new brush today. This is a Kabuki that I got from iMats as a free gift because I purchased so many Royal Langnickel brushes. I guess they felt I should get a prize for that. Now I'm taking my new Sigma F40 and just contouring my cheeks. I didn't want to use that huge Kabuki brush because it was too large and I wouldn't get a precise line. And now I'm just taking my MAC 186 tapered blending brush and contouring my nose, making sure to hit the tip of my nose to make it look a little bit shorter than it is. I'm also going to accentuate my mouth by, high, by contouring under the lower lip and in both corners of the mouth. This will make it look a little bit poutier and give you more of that sultry, sexy lip. I'm just deepening the crease now with NARS Laguna. At work, the light is a little bit bright sometimes, so I do want the crease to be a little bit darker. And now I'm just highlighting and setting the under eye and forehead areas where we place the L'Oreal Magic Lumi with Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. 
and I'm just hitting the tops of the cheekbones with Mary Luminizer from The Balm. It is a gold-toned champagne highlighter, and it is beautiful. And for my brows, I am just going under them with Jordana's Coffee Bean Eyeliner. I do not fill in my brows with eye pencil because I have grown out my brows pretty thick, so I don't need to do that. And I only line the under parts of my brows because I find that's where I need it the most. The rest is pretty thick. And now I'm just brushing that through with a spoolie and making sure that the color is distributed evenly and my brows look as natural as possible. Just curling the lashes, you know, nothing too special about that. Everyone knows how to curl their eyelashes. And I'm taking the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and just doing one thin coat, focusing it mostly at the base of my lashes because it is a volumizing mascara and I don't want volume because that's too dramatic for everyday wear for me. I just like to darken the base and then I go in with my ever trusty CoverGirl Lash Blast Length Mascara. As you guys know, it is my holy grail mascara and I will never ever stop using it. It separates the lashes beautifully and makes them look so natural. It honestly looks like I have it on false lashes, but not like that dramatic, but they look so separated and perfect, and I love this mascara. If you guys have never tried it, you should absolutely do so, especially for you guys out there. It is a fabulous mascara to use to enhance your lashes without making it look like you're wearing makeup. Now to define the waterline and just make the lashes not look like they're separated and make it look a little more connected and dark, I'm taking the Lorac Pro Front of the Line Liquid Eyeliner and just lining my waterline. Now as you can see, that made my eyes look much more defined and sultry. And now I'm taking a literal shower in Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray. Gotta use a lot of that stuff. And now I'm trying out a new product. This is the NYX Chunky Dunk Lip Balm. I'm just using it as a light lip stain so it's not too noticeable. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye. A shot in the dark.